Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. I'm your Excel Guru and today I have brought you a formula of Excel called DATE. D -A -T -E. Well, it cannot get you a date exactly. I don't know. <laughs> but it can help you in, uh, in getting a date typed onto your Excel sheet. <laughs> okay. Uh, see, uh, in certain cases, sometimes what happened, people type in dates in, in this form. Uh, you may have data in this form uh, like this. You have a serial number, then you have days, two, these are the dates, this is the month and this is the year. Now you want to have it in this form, like 2nd October 2010. This is what it is, 2nd day, 10th month, 10th year. Now you want to have it in this format, how can you have that? Well, we can have it using the date formula, I'll tell you how, see. It starts with D-A-T-E is equal to D-A-T-E, well I have taught Okay, let's see. Date. Okay, I've taught this. Date value I've taught. Date average I have taught. D average. No, D average. I'm, yes, I've taught D average. I've taught day. I've taught day 360. Well, I've taught everything. What? Cool. <laughs> so, in Excel 2007 and above, it's a very good thing that when you start typing the initials of a formula name, uh, the formulas relevant to that, uh, to that spelling show up. So, if you just uh, select the formula and press tab you don't need to type the complete name and the, even the bracket would open up yourself itself so the first thing it is asking is for a year so this is the year it's asking then a comma it's asking for a month so I select this month then comma it's asking for a day this is the date I press enter see I got 2nd October 1910 well Excel is living in the year 1910 Bill Gates, sir, look into this. <laughs> okay, uh, this can now be replicated. You can change, uh, replicate it further below also. And you can also change the formatting. Simply change the formatting. Format cell, do a right click, format cells, go to date. You can choose the long date over here. And here's the long date. That's so easy. Let's try something else. Let's try this one. All right. Okay, and we'll do it in another manner. We'll go, we'll go to the formulas tab. We'll go to insert function. We will type in date. Click on go. Here comes date. Okay, it's asking for a year. And the year is over here. This is the year. This is the month. The month would be this and the day would be this and here is our answer 18-5-1911 see what if we had 2011 mentioned over here see this changed <laughs> so this is the date function for you uh, well this file is available for free download on my website you can simply go there and download the file for free as you are watching this video so that in, in you can practice along or just keep it for on your laptop or your PC for any any use until then until the next video this is your Excel Guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy Excel learning <laughs>